Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to go through my eyeshadow haul. I can't show you all of them, but I bought like five or six eyeshadow palettes in the last month. I tried to use each of them at least like three days to give you a good opinion on them. And if you would like to see me apply any of them in a specific eyeshadow look, just let me know. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe either there or there or there. Click the little bell and that will just give you email notifications of my future videos. Now before I get into the eyeshadow palettes, I do want to show you something that I did, which I'm kind of excited about. I've been going through a little bit of a purse phase, and in fact, I actually ordered a very high-end purse, in fact, two of them, and so I'll do a purse unboxing to show you those. I'm kind of excited about them. I don't know what's gotten me into this purse phase, but it is kind of fun. I just got a little pink Kate Spade purse, absolutely love this little thing. I love this color blush and I would have thought that I wouldn't use it but I've really been carrying it with a lot of different outfits. Somehow the pink just seems like a little bit of a neutral to me. I just added this little Michael Kors puff on it which is kind of funky looking but I thought that was kind of cute. You know every purse needs its jewelry. I'm very excited to show you my purse purchases. I got some coach you know wallets and things. I think they call them SMLs. No wait small leather goods SLMs so I'll be showing you those in an upcoming video as well okay now let's go ahead and go through these eyeshadow palettes and since I have so many one two three four five six I'll be going through them fairly rapidly but I did want to give you my opinions this is the new Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette and I was kind of excited to get this in fact I saw another youtuber who was in her 40s use this palette and I thought the eyeshadow look that she did looked very good however my first impulse was to say these colors are way too bright for me and that I really wouldn't like them however I did actually create several eyeshadow looks from this palette and I used these kind of blue shades down here which are shimmer shades on the lid and you know I just did not like this palette at all plus in fact I hope it's not dripping all over me right now it had tons of powder I was able to create kind of a cohesive eyeshadow look and then I looked down and I had so much blue and greenish kind of shiny powder all over my face it was awful in terms of the amount of powder that it kicked up and what I'm really realizing is that when we get a little bit more grown up we really should not be wearing these bright wild shades. A neutral eye is really best for us unless you're really able to apply more bright colors in a very very perfect precision way. I think they generally don't look very good on people of any age. Generally the neutrals look better. They're a little more forgiving because they do blend in. They're the browns, they're the taupes, they're the cream colors that just blend in with your eyelids and are very forgiving. Absolutely hated this palette. This one is going back to Ulta. Now the next palette is a very low end palette and quite honestly I thought I was really going to like this. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted palette which is brand new at Ulta. I really thought I was going to love these and in fact I was going to use this in an upcoming L'Oreal full face video that I have coming. But for some reason these very very warm shadows look absolutely terrible on me and in fact for the most part when I see them on other YouTubers I feel the same way. They either look kind of too orange or they take on kind of a reddish tone that I think makes her eyes look a little bit sick. I, I worked with it for about three days and tried eyeshadow looks but every time I left the house I thought hey you look like you're coming down with something. It was not a pretty look. Now I have four more palettes to show you and this one is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette. I got this one from Ulta and I will be keeping this and one thing I really like about this is it has a lot of neutral shades and it has an absolutely beautiful lid shade. Look at that just a little bit of glow there absolutely beautiful and it has a great under eye brow color just like that I really don't like the really white under eye brow colors so the little bit of a peach is a really nice thing it has a beautiful pink in it and it has a very good neutral shade called mocha which would be a very very good transition color very very nice and mild there and it has a nice dark truffle color for the V if you want a little more drama and a very nice grayish black this was a very nice palette. It was not my total favorite palette out of the ones I'm showing you. In fact, I'm going in my order of preference. But this was a very, very nice palette and it was on sale at Ulta half price. I think it still is. It's only $24. I also like that they have the little instruction sheet because generally those are very good looks. The next one I'll be telling you about is the Tarte palette. It's called the Clay Play Volume 2 palette. Absolutely gorgeous little palette. And look at those three color schemes. Absolutely love them. There is a more neutral one here. There's a little cooler one there. And there's a beautiful one here that's got this beautiful shimmer color. In fact, I have this palette on now and I'm using this color on my eyelid. 
and then I'm using this brownish color here as the transition color and a little bit underneath the eyes. I love that it has a bronzer here and a little bit of a blush here and a beautiful highlighter here. Absolutely love this palette. This is a palette that is very, very neutral and yet really will do almost your full face except for the lipsticks and all of that kind of thing. This is a really great palette that I would purchase again. Now my last little palette, I got this one probably the longest to go of any of them except for that first on the run palette which I hate. But I've had this almost as long and I really absolutely love this one. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette and Too Faced again has fantastic shadows. It includes the wonderful little booklet that gives you several different eye looks which I really loved. But look at the beautiful natural colors in this palette. Absolutely wonderful. Here is a great brow color. Look at that. That's an absolutely beautiful kind of whitish light color that goes underneath the brow. And then look at this lid shade. Absolutely love this. Very, very pretty. Here's another lid shade which has a little bit less sparkle. And then here's one called Honey Pot. I love this one just to kind of dab in the center of your eyelids to give yourself a little bit of a gold look if you're wanting that warm look. And then it has this wonderful outer V shade and then it has my absolutely favorite transition color which is a color here called Cashmere Bunny and Too Faced puts this in many of its palettes because it is like the perfect transition shade. Very neutral, perfect for every skin tone. And then there's a very, very dark color here, which is great for a little drama in the outer V. It's called Sexpresso, and that is also in other palettes. It doesn't really bother me that I have several of the same colors in other Too Faced palettes, because the reason they've included these is they are just no-fail, wonderful colors, and I'd rather have another perfect color than several that they just kind of threw in there. Well, thank you for going through my eyeshadow palettes with me. I absolutely love them, and I did go kind of crazy on eyeshadow palettes this month, but I'm not going to be buying any new ones for a while. I'm going to be working out of those and showing you looks out of those. And again, if there are any of those palettes that you'd like to see looks out of, please list them in the comments below. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe, because that just will notify you of my future videos so you won't miss anything. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I need a thought today for sure, and these are the Power Thought cards from Louise Hay. Okay, let's go ahead and choose a card and see what we can concentrate on for today. I am safe in the universe and all life loves and supports me. I am safe in the universe and all life loves and supports me. I breathe in the fullness and richness of life. Love that. I observe with joy as life abundantly supports me and supplies me with more good than I can imagine. Oh, I absolutely love this card. In my first half, I think I struggled and struggled and struggled to get the things I wanted out of my life and reach those goals, and I didn't really realize that the universe loves and supports me. And I really think that all that worry that I did about all those little details didn't do me any good at all. And in the second half, one of my really big goals is just to enjoy life and to breathe in the fullness and richness of life and really appreciate everything with gratitude as much as I can. Because I truly believe that when we're grateful, that just brings in more things to be grateful about. There's an energy about gratitude that just expands the wonderful things in our life. So friends, just for today, let's be grateful and watch as life abundantly supports us and supplies us with more good than we can imagine. Take care. See you next time.